What's up guys, my name is Javi and welcome to another MW3 gameplay slash commentary and today we're going to be playing some drop zone using the L11 sniper rifle playing on the map village and today is going to be the first commentary I have ever done on my Mac if you guys did not know, if my if you guys didn't see my setup video I got a Macintosh, an iMac, 21 and a half inch yeah, I love this thing, it's, it's the best computer that I've ever seen and you know, I'm doing this commentary in iMovie which it's a really cool editing software. I really like iMovie. Uh, a lot of people were hating on it and saying, like, oh, you know, it's kind of slow. And, um, you know, people were giving me tips on which, you know, software to use or something like that. And I went around, uh, I said, like, I typed in on YouTube. I'm like, what do people use for commentating on Macs? And a lot of them just used iMovie. And I watched some tutorials and it looked kind of simple. So, um, you know, if you guys use a different program, that's good for you, but I think I'm gonna stick with iMovie. I was gonna use ScreenFlow, which is a pretty good program to use, but I don't really record my screen. I do gameplay commentaries from Call of Duty and other console games. I don't really do PC or anything like that. So, anyways, today's topic for this commentary is going to be clans and community channels. Uh, my friend Div Asylum did this commentary a while back, and I just, he kind of inspired me to do one. So. Anyways, I want to talk about uh, both of these in this commentary. I have had experience with both because I've been part of a community channel, sort of, I guess if you want to call it, and I'm in a clan right now. So, I'm, I've am i been part of both, and I really want to give my opinion. So, starting off, we'll start off with clans. Uh, my opinion on clans are pretty good. I enjoy being in focus, team focus. That's my, that's my clan at the moment. And a lot of those guys in there are really, really cool. So, you know, a lot of the people who you meet in clans can really just be turned out to be really good friends. And, you know, you can you meet really cool people that way. So, being in a clan is not just about getting fame, getting views, getting your name out there and all that stuff. I mean, that is part of it, you know. But I wanted to join Focus because they're a unique clan. I wanted to start with, you know, a smaller clan. I think... 13k is kind of small for I, I guess it's not small, but you know it's it's a good size. So, you know a lot of the clans that a lot of people get hate on are the clans that do kill feeding, and then some do trick shotting, and then some do have a variety of both. And the variety of both clans, they are the ones who don't really get, you know, talk trash on that much. So, the Trick shotting clans like Dare, Soar, and former FaZe. FaZe was all trick shots back in the day, but you know those those teams got like a lot of hate. And then kill feeds like Optic and Darth, and I would say, well, I guess you could throw uh, some other teams in there. But you know those feeding teams didn't really get hate. I don't, I don't really know why, but they just didn't get hate. I guess people thought feeding really didn't take um, any more skill than trick shotting. I guess, but in my opinion, they both take skill because in trick shotting you gotta you gotta manage the buttons right, and in feeding you gotta hit all the people. It's okay if you miss once, <laughs> but as long as you get four on the feed or higher, then you're pretty good. So that's the standard of feeding. I think it's t I think it takes skill. That's just my personal opinion. But anyways. You know, a lot of the clans today, they aren't really doing what they used to be doing in the past. Now, a lot of the clans today are just in it for the money, which is kind of sad. But, you know, just back in the day, it was all for fun. There was no money involved. There was, you know, no really bad side to the clans or YouTube in general. And today, a lot of the, you know, YouTube partners take it for advantage that they have the ability to make money off this and they post you know really just crappy videos like uh, dark I'm not trying to be mean or anything I mean all their money goes to aimbot like they don't pay any of the players which is kind of weird but anyways you know Darth I guess is uh, Darth is alright you know I, I really like seeing Darth oh this is a nice feed right here that was gonna go on my leftovers but my leftover is not gonna render, guys. I've I've tried and tried. It won't even open Vegas anymore. So I 
I edited that for nothing. I only edited it for about an hour, so it's not a waste of time, I guess. But anyways, you know, moving on to community channels, I guess, because, you know, I, I don't know. Clans, they're good and bad, in my opinion. I really like being the clan that I am right now, and I really like... If I ever join a different clan, it's for a good reason, because I think I'm going to be in focus for a while, just because I like the people in there. I mean, even if I got to join, you know, a decent-sized clan, if I don't... Like, if I got offered to join a 20k clan and I don't like that clan, I'm probably not going to join. I'm not going to join just for the subs. That's kind of stupid. But anyways... We'll move on to community channels. Uh, I was part of a community channel, I guess you want to call it that. Uh, it was called Top Fives. We posted top five, you know, kill feeds, trick shots, any really kind of top five plays. It was really unique. Uh, Thief Asylum, my friend Troy, he started up that channel. He started up that channel, and I, it was a really good idea. And my, I'm my controller went dead right here, so that's why the screen's black. But he started up that channel and he asked me and a couple of my other friends if we want to be you know, part of that channel. Of course we said yes. So, you know, we number one, we thought it was a really good idea. So we thought we'd join him on it and, you know, we, we kept it going for I think two months and then, you know, people just stopped making the top five. So Troy just turned it into like a community channel and posting single clips and all that stuff. Because the channel is partnered, so when you have a partnered channel, you just don't want it to go to waste. So, you know, you got to post something. So, that, that's what that is right now. And a lot of the community channels, uh, there is some that are good. There's some that I enjoy, like Cod Shots of the Day. Uh, X Cod Shots, that, that is just a straight up money whore. Like, I'm not going to lie, a video per hour, that is ridiculous. I think they have, like, scheduled people in different countries because of the time changes to upload. Like, people in Switzerland, you got this hour. People in England, you got this hour. People in China, you got this hour. And then it's just stupid. I, I don't know. It's just, you know, community channels like that. Those are the community channels that I don't like. But anyways, you know, the, the community channels for fun, like Top Fives and uh, COD Shots. Not X COD Shots, but COD Shot of the Day. That's what I meant. Uh, Trick Shot of the Day. I mean, there's a couple other ones. And then, they, and then you get your people like White Boy 7th Street and Optic Midnight. They do like single handedly top five plays, like just their top five plays. And I really enjoy that. I really like White Boy's top five, top three fails, top five fails, whatever he does. The fails and the top five plays. I really like those. And so, and same thing with Optic Midnight. So, and also, then you got your clans. Sometimes clans do top fives, like Team Focus does top fives. And uh, Optic does top fives. They do like top five sniper plays of the week. Uh, they used to do that at least and maybe they still do I, I, I don't know I think it goes up on machinima respawn which I am not subscribed to them because they upload freaking 30 times a day and I can't even see the other videos on my subscription box if I subscribe to them so anyways I you know those are my opinions I guess on community channels uh, if you guys like this commentary please give it a like and you know if you're new please subscribe and I'm going to try to figure out a way that I can record easier on my Mac because I really don't want to get ITV because I have my laptop still and it's just what I do is I record and put on me extreme, put it on my external hard drive for my PC, then take my external hard drive over to my Mac and then import it. It takes like an hour to import into iMovie and then I can finally do the commentary. So I'm going to try to find an easier way and I fail right here with the triple kill cam because the guy's just standing right there and I easily could have hit him. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you did, please leave a like and favorite. And leave a little comment down below. And if you're new, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.